<laughs> it's Christmas all year around on FBA. Remember that CD bulk buy that I made a little while back? I believe a few months ago. 550 CDs and I sent in about 70. Well, I just sold one that is called A Walton's Christmas. The Waltons, remember the TV show from way, way back, decades ago? I used to watch it actually as a kid, or reruns of it anyway. That CD sold this month, April, for $39.95. So it's one of my biggest CD sales, individual CD sales. And it was a Christmas CD. And it's April. Christmas kind of just happened. So it doesn't matter the time of the year. Many, many people love Christmas so much that they buy Christmas music and other Christmas themed or holiday themed items year round. Even if you find a CD or other item that is Christmas or holiday themed or related and it looks like it's good going for good money, not so many offers, etc. and it's selling, then I recommend sending it in. Chances are it can sell before Christmas. It might not sell until Christmas or close to Christmas, but based upon some sales that I made of Christmas CDs, they do sell year round and it's good to have them in stock. So don't take a look at them early in the year, mid year and say, oh, it's uh, I'm gonna pass because it's not the holidays yet. And also as you get closer to Christmas, people start getting in the mood and start buying some of that stuff a few months before. And definitely in November and December, you can sell lots and lots and lots of holiday and Christmas themed books and CDs and all kinds of stuff. That's the great thing about doing FBA is you can take advantage of the many, many thousands, millions of people in this country that can't get enough of Christmas and the holidays and absolutely love it and find it to be the best time of the year and want to feel that Christmassy feeling in other times of the year as well. So they get some music and listen to it. Or they're preparing for Christmas really, really, really early. And I'm, I bet you there's a lot of people that listen to Christmas music all year and put it on in the car or put it on the house, whatever it is. But regardless, it sells. First thing I wanna talk about is not being scared of selling this holiday related stuff. It could be Thanksgiving as well, it could be Christmas, but it is definitely holiday themed items, especially Christmas, sell well. The other thing is, this is one CD of 16 so far that I've sold in the month of April, and there's still another eight or nine days left in the month. So this has been going really well with CDs, and I'm, I'm trying to think about how the holidays are going to go because I sold about 17 or so December and that was a lot for me because I was just getting into CDs and now I'm sending in a lot more CDs especially the bulk buy, future bulk buys so that I can build up my CD inventory so CD sales now are starting to slowly catch up to book sales they're nowhere near it just yet but I'm kind of anticipating by the end of the year that my CD sales will get to a level of maybe half of what my book sales are. Not in back to school months, but maybe in the holidays or just an average month of the year. This is part of my idea or theory that diversification is really good on FBA. I was seeing on a FBA book selling Facebook group that people were seeing a lot of new book sellers at book sales. Cause that's one of the first places that new book sellers go like myself is they go to the book sales and they start scanning and start learning or whatever it may be. If you're feeling that, you're feeling like, oh, there's a lot of new sellers and the uh, market in your specific area and your region, you feel like it's getting saturated or semi-saturated or you're worried about competition, then branch out. You don't even have to go into other categories. You can stay in media and CDs are perfect as are VHS tapes. If you're ungated in DVDs, that's another option. If you're not, you can try to get ungated, but I haven't done that yet. There's also video games. And there's other things too, of course there's toys and whatnot. The other one also is vinyl. You can also get into records. So you can get into CDs, records, and VHS tapes in addition to books, which is what I've done. So now I'm, I'm slowly learning about vinyl. And once I get my record player, then, and test all the records and cross my fingers that they all, they all play without skipping or anything, then I can slowly build up my vinyl collection in anticipation of the holidays. Now vinyl sells all year, just like CDs sell all year, as I'm finding out, and VHS tapes, but the holidays, especially December, you can sell a ton of other media items in addition to books, which sell well. So I'm getting super excited about CDs because I'm getting better at picking them and sourcing them and knowing what sells and just figuring that out, just like I did with books, which I'm always learning about as well. Always learning, always learning in these categories, getting better and better. But the better I get at sourcing CDs, and other media items, 
the, the better I'm going to get at knowing what to scan, what to look up, and what to send in, uh, knowing that it should sell. The other thing I like about CDs is they're so small. So they're easy when you source them. They don't take up as much space. When you pack them in boxes, they don't take up as much space. They weigh very little. So imagine sending 50 CDs versus 50 books. It's going to weigh a lot less and take up a smaller box than the books would. Now, of course, books in general make more money, for me at least. But I'm not saying they should replace books. I'm just saying that they're a great alternative. And they're abundant just like books. I find CDs all the time at thrift stores, at yard sales, at estate sales. Usually, not always, but usually at book sales, there are CDs. And they can have some good ones. In another place is Craigslist that has CDs. You can always go the eBay route if you want, if you're good with eBay, and you can flip stuff off of eBay to Amazon. That's an option. Now, vinyl is going to be a whole different thing because those are bigger and weigh a little bit more and that sort of thing. But CDs are great because of the size. So Christmas stuff sells well all year. CDs are great. I recommend getting into them. Also, for me personally, I've mentioned this before, I like to be able to grab some music off of the CDs before I sell it. Some of them I even keep, but not that many. Most of them I just send in. But some songs that I want, grab a few here and there, and I've gotten hundreds of songs, literally, from the CDs that I've sourced. And I've kept a few as well. That's another bonus of doing CDs. So, not only the book bandit, I'm turning into the CD bandit as well. So look out for those Christmas and holiday themed items, whether they're CDs or anything else. And don't be scared to send them in early, and, and they'll, they should definitely sell, at least by the holidays, but maybe even before. As always, remember, keep booking!